Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and here with a one random review, and this is on the Lego Harry Potter Durmstrang ship from 2005. Now, I did review plenty of lot, many other earlier Harry, older Harry Potter sets for Throwback Thursday, so go ahead and browse the channel or the playlist, or a playlist if you already catch up onto that. But here I am, just randomly here, but yeah, kind of good to see it this kind of return, but, oh, but at least it's just for now, but yeah. So on the front of the box here, you have the Lego Harry Potter logos, and that orangish border, well-fitting for the time of these ones, which was for 2005 for the release of Goblet of Fire. Okay. Now, have a picture of the Durmstrang ship floating, abo floating above the Black Lake towards Hogwarts, and then also, checking hazard, dimensions of the ship, and set number 4768. On the back side, you see this little proposal kind of poster or something with the ship and Harry and Voldemort in action, and the original Hungarian horn tail for that. For that. So, shop at home and Lego Club. Then, advertisement for the other. Uh, 2005 Goblet of Fire sets, which are quite rare out there, you know. But however, a Black Lake Rescue set, which which we did see a remake of recently. So, and hopefully we might get the rest of that. Of it. Or I mean, some of these we did see remakes of, but yeah. And then here we have an alternate build that there is, which was a common trend that they did until uh, either 2005 or 7 for that. And then another silhouette picture of the set and all the features of it. And then the final building steps. So now, on to the two mini things included with the set. First off, we would have a uh, Victor Crumb, well, one variant of him, which is a little different than the one that came in the, or quite different than the one that came in the uh, Black Lake, uh, where people set that there were, well, without the shark head and so on. But however, well, also we uh, would have Professor Iger Karakaroff. Yeah, Karakaroff. But the only difference is the face printings on both of them. But however, the rest of which being torso printing, kind of the same for that, but and also not at all the leg printing for both of them, and hats are also the same, but very interesting piece used for them, which we might have seen in Orient Expedition or something. But however, the difference are the face printings, well, Victor Crumbs of which kind of similar to the one that we had with those other sets of which, as for uh, Igar Karakoff here, does have Kind of thick scruffle to that, and a kind of angry look for that. But although, and of course, the eyes of both of them quite similar to what we would get yeah, as figs today nowadays. Since of course, there's with both Harry Potter and Star Wars lines at this time, 2005, they were starting to kind of align with the more modern lines. But although, but also, I was wielding the older style wand piece, which is just a a brown bar piece for that. And as for the back sides of which, not only back torso printing nor double side faces for both of them, but also an interesting fact with these mini figs in the set that although the also at this same time there was a special variant of this set which included a few extra figs which were just of Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Dumbledore. Well, exclusive version of Dumbledore and that, well, if he has a certain version of it, it will come with that, or with these two figs. This was the more common version of the set. For that. And well, 
And if this set ever had a remake, I think it'd probably include these two and both of that. Just a thought. But yeah, that's about it there. And now on to the Durmstrang ship itself. Which, from first glance, does look almost like kind of similar to most uh, earlier pirate ship sets that there were, but anyway, quite really tall masts for that, kind of impressive for that. But of course, since of course with the boat hulls and the masts of which, and these uh, things here, of which are just large bulky specific pieces since of course which probably would help to keep it cheap for the time and also and of course I'm sure these pieces were used a lot at the time but yeah so now like as for this lower section which is a two a large bulky a uh, pre-done boat Hall piece, which I think we might have seen on some pirate sets or the Vikings line, also from this time. But however, if you like get this in person, you'd find out that it's actually two whole specific pieces for that. For that. And also, as for the front section, which has one of those large mast kind of pieces, but just sticking forwards for that. And if moving moving downwards, we which have uh, some like uh, dark red kind of pieces at, with the uh, curved slopes here, and also a little chain that leads down to an anchor that you can just drop downwards or just hang on up there. And of course, another large mast piece, which has one. That's a few plates just hanging on to that and also upwards and it has one of those barrel pieces acting as a crow's nest or one of a crow's pair of crow's nests and also a, a old style lance holding one one of three of these little uh, flag banners for that and then it's now further down as the main part of the ship you have one of these little panel kind of pieces, which with these two pieces here can like pull right up for that and find the whole hollow space in there for that. And as for that one spot of the ship, or this uh, part which which kind of acts as a plank for you to stand a big onto that blue tile there. And then just tap on it and fling right off for that. So a good fun feature that is. And then further down, as you can see, which for this other area, which has a few open spots in there. As you can see. And also another and also a few more uh, blue plates holding a large mast for that with those things going up the sides of which and then this is probably like two masts put together and of course this which quite tall for that I see have that yet again and also the same effect as the front one but how are the one in the far back of which which doesn't that all have a crow's nest piece on top for that but now onto this back section, which is actually somewhat modular, can like pop this section off, and also can uh, pop this mast part off. So that one. So now, as for this section specifically, as you can see, comprised of mostly tan with some bright blue and dark red as most of the set, and also each of these uh, lantern parts of which which have these classic dish pieces but in uh, chrome gold oh, which very neat kind of neat to see there which was kind of common for the time and of course but whereas with most chrome kind of pieces 
oftentimes it's kind of chipped off over time. But, however, a lot of space on here and also the early castle doors here that you can open up and then there's some storing some stuff in there. And then one side, which, which is similar on both sides, has those, one of those castle windows there. And then have the hinge pieces, but in like gray, kind of randomly. And then you can like open right upwards, and there's plenty of things to see in here. Like a blue flame, and also a tile piece representing a, with a scroll printed on it, an inkwell, bat, and a pan. And then also do have probably a cup for an amp with a little shelf kind of part with a little cup there and a magnifying glass. And that's about it there. And now onto the rest of this back section without it, as you can see, which does have the classic uh, pirate ship steering wheel piece which is just for show, doesn't turn anything, and also a little a tile piece with a map on it, which is probably from Orient Expedition or whatever. And also another one, a little lantern piece on there. And then also this back section, which has a lot of little tiny archway pieces you can like uh, pull right off. If I can do this right, yeah, oh, the whole thing can pop right off for that. And gets you a little access to the other interior spot. Which does have a pair of, elf, of these elephant trunk pieces that go out outwards, which I'll show in a, in a moment. And also a lot of open space for figs, a little table with a letter piece on there. And a little lantern, is another lantern as well. And the broom pieces in black, kind of nice to see there. And it's all resting on a pair of, of blue plates for that. And I can get this all off. Yeah. And as for the sides of which, which do have these uh, curved uh, or curved slope pieces here, and also those. A chrome gold uh, studs, which we saw in the Quidditch practice set from 2001 or two, but though, but in that case, it was for a golden snitch, which they did an actual piece of later. But at least kind of good to see here. But and also do have a couple of early shield pieces, one being for Durmstrang, and also one of which representing a uh, what must be Black Falcons, which is in an actual castle theme from like the 90s or 1990s of lego so kind of weird seeing that here but if this whole set was done nowadays probably include just the uh Durmstrang symbol for that or maybe another or a different uh castle line symbol there or whatever and as for the back side here Not much for that, just the pair of elephant trunk pieces there, and also barely much of any. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a quite good set, a really good set for how it is. Like only time we ever get to have a, a pirate ship or boat in Harry Potter, of which, which, well, even though it was just for this, for the one time of, for this movie, well, and of course the minifigs, which kind of all right for the time, but unless we had the other version of this set, which had extra figs, well. So now, if this whole set was done nowadays, I think it would probably have all those figs in it anyways. And I, and also, if this set, also, if it were done today, I think probably have 
multiple pieces done for the boat hall instead of being one specific piece or two specific pieces for that. And of course this for the for the price point at the time, fifty dollars was kind of good for how it is. But I do get little good bits of playability and also and also acting as a large good parts pack for like tan, dark red, and light blue. So a nice blend of colors scheme for that. Yes, although if it, and yet again, if it were done today, nowadays, I think it'd probably have all that again. But yeah. And uh, what else is there to say? And it's now, and it's now Lego. If you're looking for any uh, Harry Potter set to remake sooner or later, this would be the one. So it would be great to see this remade again. But yeah. And also, and of course, if and just with inflation, that's about 65 today. Well, and of course, oftentimes worth quite a bit secondhand to which. And of course, and again, if remade, would help devalue it a lot. And also nice to see a variant of Victor Crumb that isn't the shark form or whatever, but yeah. And so now, if any of you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still are looking to get this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.